Hi everybody, David Salt from Vapor Day. Come on, come on in, come on in, come on, come on into the parlour, get your shoes off, yeah, go on, get a sat down, get them shoes off, come on. Today, guys, uh, we're going to have a look at a starter kit, one that went straight under my radar, I don't know how I missed it, because I know I'm going to keep my eye off the starter kits, of course, and um, I just can't believe this one got, uh, got past me. Anyway, today we're going to have a look at the Yinikun. Gem, this tiny little thing here, it's absolutely tiny, but it works really well. Now to longer. Corker, corking little uh, starter kit, love it. Anyway, without further ado guys, let's head on down to that table cap. See you down there. So here we are guys, we're uh, down on the table camera, the one that's escaped me, I never even knew this was out until recently, this is the Anakin gem of course, and uh, let's have a quick look around the box, so we've got a picture of the mud in the tank there, uh, normal warnings, gem on that side, up in there, Anakin there, picture of the front of the mud there, um, it's a mouth to longer of course, warnings um, what it includes and uh, all the normal warnings at the bottom including don't vape in a bin scratch and sniff serial number so uh, let's take it out and it's again it's another one of them it's like a you know apple product <laughs> let's move that along the side as you can see there's nothing else on the box only that picture at the back so we open it up and there we have it tiny little unit so before we go get the unit out let's open this up let's get this open and see what we get in the accessories box so in the accessories as you can see it says accessories there um, we get the usual um, USB charge cable from uh, Inicon which I, I quite like them I've got quite a few of them now um, let's up get everything else out if I can. Let's do that out for a sec. And here we get a quick that's it that's it. No. Let's just check right, that's it. Let's get that back on in shot. So we get the uh, quick guide basically of the uh, tank. Which is quite good, quite good. I do, and it's a stand-up thing as well. You know, you can stand it up and and use it. I do like any kind products. I must admit. So let's get that over there. Well, let's open this up. I bloody hate opening out like this up. And here we have the normal gum. So let's sit that on there. So. Warnings and safety. Wow, need the glasses on to even look at that. Um, some QR codes there. Let's put them the right way down, there. Eh? Yeah. But these are for verifi verifying um, the unit itself and the warranty card, which is quite nice because it's. Uh, Quite thick, quite thick. Battery care guide, always good to see. Always good to see. Let's bring that so we can see it actually. Uh, about the internal batteries, the do's and don'ts, and the Nikon stickers as normal. So let's get this gump out the way. Let's get the gump out the way. Out the way, out the way, out the way, and let's get to the unit. So here we have it. So uh, if I can pop this out because it's been bloody murder getting it out. It really does get stuck in there. There we go. We've got the little unit here and as you can see by the size of my hand it's a nice little stealthy unit. It really is. It's a real really really small piece. Um, let's get the tank out. It's a 2mm tank by the way, 
and uh, we'll come back to the tank in a minute when it's airflow and what have you and we get a spare coil broken and I can't get it out ah oh, there it is I've actually opened up and there we have the spare coil let's open that up there uh, small wicking holes, really you want like a 50-50 in this mount or longer really and uh, I can't remember for the life of me what this coil is I think it's a 1.6 or something like that um, yeah there are 1.6 these coils 1.6 or more to longer and uh, I just turn this on usual and it can uh, light show and these up and down buttons are actually let me just show you it tells you the wattage you're on so it's, uh, I can't see I've not got my glasses on let's bring it down it starts at about 10 watts and ends up at uh, I think it's 13.5 13 point, uh, 13 and 13.5 it's a fantastic little unit it really is so uh, that's a spare glass by the way that the coils are wrapped in so let's get that in let's get that back in the box otherwise you know what I'm like I'll lose the bugger so just sit that on its side for a minute so you can see it see how tiny that unit is it really is tiny really stealthy and I expect my daughter to pinch this off me I really do so let's go down the uh, the tank then it's a normal 510 fitting there and if I can the only thing it's missing to me is a bit of knurling around the edge here and um, it's a very similar top to the Inican T20 but luckily this time the threading's metal and not plastic and uh, I like that oops there it goes rolling away with my clumsy fingers I like that and as you can see the bore is uh, very restricted so there we've got the fill ports let's bring that down so you can see come down then we've got uh, the kidney shaped fill ports there and a very small diameter chimney so let's open the bottom up and here we go and there we have the uh, coil there's the tank itself the chimney there we have the coil and the coil just screws in oh there we go there we go just screws in and as you can see tiny tiny coil tiny tiny so while we've got this undone um we might as well prime this coil and what we're using is my own turkish and black licorice uh, e-liquid which I've actually got out this time now to go running about and find some so let's uh, just pop that down there for a second get this out let's get this primed up see whether we can do some camera without spilling it everywhere so let's get a few drops down the, down the centre there Drops on each of these wicking ports if I can. Come on, come on. Let's get them started. Don't forget, you want to leave this for quite a few minutes. Uh, I I normally leave them about 15 minutes. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, leave it five minutes, but I normally leave it about 15. Let's get that back in. There we go. Oops, sorry guys. Bounce about too much, it's gonna have focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Why are you focusing? Thank you. There we go. Let's get that filled up. Down and so let's fill it right away up there we go get the top on I do like that it's metal threads but I do wish it had a little bit of knurling across the top there so 
So guys, before we go any further, what I forgot to show you was you get a massive amount of O-rings. A huge amount of O-rings. Loads of them. Look at how many is in there. I've never seen that many come in there with a tank before. Anyway, I've got my glasses on now. So I'm going to go and redo this. And uh, I'm going to measure it. I'm going to do a VIC. So let's pull that out. Let's pull that out. Sorry Vic, I'm not pinching what you do, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't normally use my verniers on camera, I've used them before and I'm going to use them this time, so, right, let's do this, so, right, 10 watts, 11 watts, 12 watts, 13 watts, and 13.5, so it's from 10 to 13.5. I don't know if you could see that, guys. But oh, well, good there, the focusing is on that. And of course, it's called the gem. And there, there's the indicator I didn't show you before. And I'm going to measure this. I'm going to measure this on the on camera. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm not pinching your idea, Rick, honestly. Honestly. Right, so is it? Oh, let's get that. Zero it out. Come on. Zero. Zero. Oh, on. Zero, please. Right, so uh, let's measure it and see what we've got in the way of this width. So it's, oh, we can see that, guys. 16.4. How about that way? That way. We've got uh, 21.7 and its height. Oops, pull that right out. Where that height wise go back. 75.2, this is why I don't normally do it on camera because I struggle. <laughs> uh, so as you can see it's a very small unit. So while we're at it we might as well uh, measure the gem tank. Now guys, well what I talk, just before I do the measurement on this tank, you must make sure at this bottom uh, is really really tight um, twice I've not put it on really tight and it's leaked on me uh, you must get that in really really tight and not on that I didn't talk about the AFC either did I um, it's a free all AFC and it just moves like normal now when I've used it I've rocked it on half of one all let's see because uh, when it's open wide, it's quite hairy for a small tank for a mouth to longer. Probably can hear that, guys. It's very, very hairy anyway. Let's get it on the top of this. Let's get it on the top and have a look at the unit all together. Let's move the verniers on. Oh, I didn't measure the tank for you. Never mind. It doesn't really matter. It's about 14.4 mil. Why? Right guys, jump cuts. I am uh, going to uh, measure the tank because there's another reason for that. So let's undo the tank. Because, I forgot to tell you, it's got a charge port at the bottom and I don't like that. That's just strong positioning for me. Um, they could have put it at the bottom there. That's the only thing I don't like about this sand local unit. Anyway, let's get the verniers again. Right, we're at zero, so let's open it up. So, this is 14.3, it should be around about 14.4, yep, 14.4, and let's measure it from just where the 510 is to the top there. Let's get that in, come on. Don't slide off the top, please. And we're at 39.9 there. And uh, while I'm at it, and we'll just pop that back onto there. I'll uh, show you the coils. Oops, let's see if I can get the tank back on. That is, and I'll move that out of the way because I always knock it over. And there we go. Um, this is a gem coils in packs of five. Uh, 1.6 ohms, 10 to 13.5 watts, pack of five, placement coils, and they're just like any other um, coil you get from any kin. And they come in the uh, these packets and I hope the blacks denoting that the camphor 
<laughs> so let's pop that back in there. Anyway guys, that's me. I'm out of the junk cup. Back to whatever I was saying before. Why? As you can see, it's very, very slim. Very slim. Very slim unit. So, see what we're doing. Let's go down. Let's take it on down to 10. And uh, let's give it a 2, eh? That's not bad. A bit, bit cool. And it's a bit gurgly, of course, because of, uh, I flooded the, um, the coil out a bit when uh, I was filling it up to make sure that it was wicking all right. That will go with vaping. Alright, let's take it up. 11. See if it makes any difference. A little bit. A little bit. Um, don't know what the material is in the coil, but it's, uh, I can get the taste of it in my mouth. I'll have to break in, I think. The last coil I used... Um, it took about two and a half tanks before it tasted all right. Now let's bang it up again. So we're up to 13 now. Mm, not bad. Let's put it all the way up. Right. 13.5 watts. Let's go for it. And that to me is much better, but it can still taste the bloody coil. Um, yeah, it's a tiny little unit, as I said, very stealthy. Anyway guys, next time I see you, we'll be up top. See you up there guys. Hi guys, so we're back up from the table cam. What a corking little uh, stealthy starter kit is that. Right, it's an 1100mAh battery, I think, I think. Could be a thousand mile. Should have really looked at that again, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, it's either a thousand or eleven hundred milliamp, uh, milliamp power. But it's a one point six ohm coil, so it's going to last you all day long, not a problem. And I really love the the fact that you know it tells you obviously blind bugger can't see it, but uh, and it's so easy to move up and down to the different wattages. You know, ten to thirteen point five watts. Perfect amount to lung and lasting all day. The gem tank, by the way, I did say uh, on the tail cam three holes, it's six holes, of course. I meant to say there's three holes on each side, and whatever you're just on one side, it's just on the other. Um, but I didn't do that because I've just checked. I know, silly me, slap this. Uh, the tank's easy to fill, of course, and uh, it's, just, it's just so thin and narrow. <laughs> it really is, but it's a corking little kit. I really don't know how this got on under the the radar, and uh, being in it, and of course, it's, uh, it's it's made really well, and uh, yeah, I keep on saying it. I don't know why. Yeah, it's a uh, it's cork and it's called Gem. My Gem will be after this, but she won't spell it with a J. She spells it with a G. Of course, it's called the Gobi or something uh, in America. Um, I don't I don't know why they change names with with mods in different areas Europe and the USA. I really don't. Anyway, number two on this. I've had this um, for a few weeks now, and I've been out and about with it. I'm having it's just easy to slip in a pocket, taking the dog out down to the bottom to the soil and what have you. And uh, yeah, it's really really good. I really like it. I'm really impressed with it. But I still don't know how it goes on the radar. I really don't. I think the reason for that is I think because uh, Vic, vaping with Vic isn't getting anything in from Anakin anymore, so I haven't seen it. <laughs> I think that's the real reason why it's got under my radar. Anyway, guys, if you like what you've seen, and believe me, it's a cough and fuck it, give us that thumbs up, remember. That is vital for this channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, whichever side it's on these days. Get at it so you know when I'm uploading. And guys, just enjoy your weekend ahead. See you soon. Bye for now.